Hello everybody, me Crowd Roshi here with another Let's Play I'm doing. Oh shit, that's loud. I'm what I got. Anyway, I am doing a Let's Play of an old childhood game that'll be useful to play. And it's still loud, goddamn. Alright, let's start. Since the new Ratchet Clank game is coming out for PS4 next month, I decided. Alright, I'm starting a new game. I played through this plenty of times. So I know what to do. I'm not going for 100% co completion. 11.13 a.m. It's so freaking loud. This is the remastered version from PS3. So I'm going to do Ratchet 1, 2, Final 3. Step. Or the robotic ignition system. Tools disruption, pleasant and cracking time technology. up to the new game. Or to get my PS4. I will be doing a new game. Maybe a Nexus as well. I'll do that as well. So I'm gonna start from the beginning of Ratchet Clank to the end. There's also a new movie coming out for it. Next month. <laughs> There seems to be an error in the system. Ah, oh, that theme music. Oh my god, that's my jam. Good old days. PS2 days. Run, little toaster. That was convenient. Ocean Planet Garden, 11.47 a.m. local time. It's actually 10.56 in my time. Hold on to shit. Minnie! We still have a problem with the yeah. crash. Time to investigate. Boing, boing, boing. Welcome to the Gadgetron Help Desk. We are here to offer you advice during your interview. Help us to simply service provided by Gadgetron. Oh, it's been so long since I've been here. Ah, the music. Oh my gosh. But before I start, options. Oh no. Reverse. Reverse. Oh yeah. 
gotta go down for this game. When you select the weapon, you gotta go down the triangle button, and everything will pause. Like for later, for getting slid on, for actually playing, gotta click on this ball. For getting slid on, or actually playing, when you try to select the weapon, it actually pauses. But, but for the first game, it doesn't pause. Three bees, three bees. That three bees is too sexy, bro. Oh my. More ammo. That three bees, though. More bomb gold and ammo. Alive. Interesting. And it can talk. You're quite handy with your range. Uh, I forgot subtitles. You bet. I built that ship with it. You can hmm. tell them. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Commander Butcher. Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Everything, Ratchet. Hello, citizens of... My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous... Oh, this guy. No you you gotta a little stitch. But That's I, the voice Chairman actor for, Drake, for, uh, have a solution. for that, like, that we bad alien We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So this one of the actors, this one of the voice actors from Lilo and Stitch. For Lilo and Stitch. Using highly sophisticated kind of technology, which you couldn't possibly understand. We will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. That seems fair. Unfortunately, fair. this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control oh. and drift into the sun, where it will explode into a flaming It doesn't sound that bad, if you think about it. Of course, sacrifices must be made. Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your wily, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, what? form a line behind me, and kiss my... That's not how you get views like still that. still on? Oh, turn it off, you idiot! <laughs> That's not how you get views, guys. The people on those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this info box, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. It's crucial. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Indubable. Indubable. That's true. Deal. I know, from next, in the next game, this is... Some guy says some next shit, bro. In doable. We're blasting this off. This could be a problem. Take care of it. Okay, a random spaceship that's flying in space could Whoa, be this a is threat great. to you. I see. So that's Makes where sense. I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Let oh, Ratchet by the way, take the wheel. you can stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is V54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on. Clank the toaster. 
My countrymen drugs, black shit. That was unnecessary. So you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city where my work has begun removing it. Preposterous. I will not stand for this. Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that. Captain Quark is this bitch, bro. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you, puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? Really? No. Yeet. He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Enter atmosphere of planet Noblis. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. Oh, uh, uh, Blake? Where are you? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh his sorry eyes. about that. Oh my gosh, his eyes. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we can procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. It was your name. Alrighty, guys. Let's get started. What can we buy? Hi there, Fuzzball. You should call me Buzzball or Buzzball? Over here is death. The other path is some more time. Jump. Go on. There we go. Gotta press square. simple PS2 platformer type shit, you know? If only Spyro had wall jumping. 
At least you could climb the ladder, so I think if I... That doesn't hurt me, so I'm good. Bitch! will save your life later on the game. Trust me. It's worth it on at least all the bolts that you can. It's worth it. It really is worth it. Obi! There's boxes over there. Boxes are my worst enemy. Second to boxes. Hey, 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 this is my jam. Oh shit. Take my time, take my time. I want to choke, I swear. There we go. <laughs> look, plumber's well, crack. What did you just say? <laughs> I said, look, the plumber's, plumber's back. back. All right, wise guy. Nice. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this god darn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. He's what? Too he hasn't got enough He's too poor. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, get anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet. Coordinates to, to a desert planet. planet. We could use that. 500 bolts. See? Bolts are best friends. <laughs> Oh, alright. This should be enough. Geronimo! Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? Yes, yes he did. Shut and watch. Maybe, maybe. This is the solar ship radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. Looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Oh, that was close. Ah! Right down, I can't concentrate. Oh, we've been hit. An unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not going to live that long. Okay, let's hamstring. Eject, eject. And you're never heard from again. Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Wow, I know what that is. Cool. I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder. Always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. I'll that sounds say. cool. I've never seen him look so freaked out. Gadgetron Infobots give you coordinates for your planets. Now that you have the Infobot for Planet Aurelia, you'll need to find a ship to get there. Alright. I'm going to end the episode here, and hope you guys enjoy, and peace out. Hello everybody, we got Roche here, back with another episode of Ratchet and Clank. Last time, we took off, we obtained a disposer, we got up for our home planet building, and now we're in this planet looking for a ship that our stupid Lombax friend named Ratchet has crashed. Now we are continuing on into the open world of Ratchet and Clank. I got hit. I'm hit. Bring our sound here, bro. Want to fight? I really need to 
love the sensitivity, sensitivity of my cat. wooden boat in this area right there. But the thing is, you won't have the thing. You don't have like the fucking island to obtain. Bring your ass here, boy. Bring that ass here, boy. than staring down a blargy and snaggle beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. Sand if mouse. Al can't fix it, it's it not broke. broke. Right, Al? <laughs> you said it, pal. Damn so right. if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime. <laughs> what a sound. You come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Yeah, Al can't fix Al's it. Al's RoboShack. It ain't broke. It's quartastic. If Al can't fix it, it ain't broke. Do you know what this means? Yeah. Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. <laughs> what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, as planetary chairman, I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shippiness. Now that you have the ordinance to two new planets, you can use your ship. Save it, save it, save it. the map, your ship is locked as well. I'll end this episode here after I'm done with boxing. Because I need to make a, uh, a decision of what kind I want to go to, either Metropolis or uh, what you call it. Or that desert planet. That's the one I was on. I think it's going to be enjoyed, right? We still 
don't respond. The enemies don't respond, so that's nice. I'm almost, I'll link the, the first and second part together in one episode. And then I'll just leave the episode out here. And continue for the real second episode. I guess it's like post first episode, I guess. I'll just combine them both together. Alright. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, leave a like if you don't. Uh, let me know why so I can fix up on myself. And hope you guys enjoy it and peace out.